Highway 200. Heading east. Just past a field that had to have easily a hundred deer in it. Past a huge buck just right on the side of the road. Just just inside of the town too, which is annoying. Yep. Pretty lonely road this one is. Not a whole lot out here. It's an old railroad over there. I can't uh, remember who who owned that rail. But give you an update when I get to where I'm going. I was lucky enough to get a room. I got the last room they had. Just kind of exploring new areas on this trip. So I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me. It's going to be done on the phone, I know, but the cold is just killing my GoPro batteries. Cannot keep the damn things charged. The cold just sucks it right out of them. So we're going to be doing this one off the phone. But yep, I will be bringing you guys back uh, when I get to where I'm going or if anything eventful happens. Okay, so the answer to where I'm at on my adventure is uh, I am in Jordan, Montana. It is currently 8 o'clock. Just had dinner at the Hell Creek Bar in... Uh, Hell Creek Bar, I guess it is. Um... They claim to have the best roasted uh, chicken in Montana. I wouldn't support that claim, but it was pretty good. But they were also pretty busy. Um, so I'm, I'd need round two to make that judgment. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad establishment. The town, never actually been in Jordan. I've driven through it a dozen times. And holy fuck. Fuck people. Quit messaging me. I'm trying to make a video. Um, yeah, never been in the town of Jordan. It's not very big. The uh, motel that I'm in currently, it was either a old, uh, Jesus, fuck. Stop it, people. I must have just got really good service. Oh, my God. This is why I hate doing this shit on my phone. So anyways, it was either an old uh, apartment building from way back when. It's kind of laid out really weird. The rooms are kind of weird. Um, not very big. Could have been a whorehouse from like the way back when. I don't know, but it's old. Uh, like most everything in Jordan. But I would recommend coming to this place maybe during the summer, because it seems like the population of Jordan has doubled this weekend. I was lucky enough to get a room today, or for tonight. Tomorrow night is a whole other story, but I'm going to go back to my room. I may film that, and uh, have me a couple tin cups and Pepsis, go to bed, wake up, and hit the road to go look me for some insert picture of the critters. And, uh, yeah, maybe, well, I'm almost going to guarantee there's going to be a summer trip up here, whether it's on the bike, the truck, the Jeep, I don't know. You guys tell me. I mean, I've got a fleet. You guys, I mean, it'd be nice if you guys would tell me what vehicles you guys like the most. Um, anyhow, I'm in Rusty, the crew cab with the tent on it. Yes, it's going to be negative four tonight, so I'm not tenting it. 
if it was like maybe 10 degrees above zero, I would consider it. But not uh, not negative four and no heater. Um, having some issues with the heater. It does not run all night due to available fuel capacity. So, oh, that's right. I'm in, I'm in the 4WD. That's why she's all herky jerky. Oh, problem with having good traction is when you're fucking turn that shit off. Ugh. Yeah. Now I'm in 2WD. Main Street, Jordan. They got fucking hammered up here on the 10th. I heard they picked up about mm -hmm. nine inches of snow. Jesus Christ, people, leave me the hell alone. They have an Associated Foods. Pretty much is it for a grocery store. Post office. And um, the rest of this is going to be the town. So we're just going to... Do a Montana U-turn. What that went out the door. <clears throat> we are going to <coughs> cruise on up to my humble abode. That semi trailer said whacker on it. Definitely no shortage of uh, what looks to be like hunting rigs. I don't know how this is going to work. I mean, I've kind of seems like I've temporarily driven into possibly the most. Uh, populated hunting area in the state I'm only here because I've never hunted up here always wanted to just never have so I guess we're gonna we're gonna see what the day holds so well, I'm at the room good whopping block and a half away it's actually warmed up it's six degrees outside so I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, actually, in a few minutes. Let me show you my room. This motel is actually kind of cool. Okay, so this is the room I'm staying in. Within my room, there's two rooms to this. Yeah, TV. Some of you out the window. Got the pick em up truck right there traffic coming through town um, air conditioner I'm assuming this room was 85 bucks during the peak of rifle season so you can only imagine how much it's going to be during the summertime probably not very much fridge microwave I'm not even going to open up some drawers and a fairly large bathroom and here is the secondary room which rodeo rope TV closet photos and things ouch and well let's try it again uh, I am actually right over the lobby it's actually, I mean, I would definitely come here again. Yeah, well, when it's going to be a low of a negative four outside to some people, that might be worth it. But, yeah, this was probably an apartment building at one time. Well, heading out to the hunt ground. 
or well, what looks to be is going to be the hunting ground for the map. It's a bit foggy out here. I just kind of drove out of some of it. It is, well, temperature's a little all over the place. The lowest I've seen was minus 16. That's cool. Yeah, she's definitely frosty out here. Well, dropping in close to the uh, CMR. How to uh, consult the regulations on. And if I could hunt that, because I don't normally go around those steering rifle season. I'm usually up in the mountains. I am uh, doing something different here. These are kind of like mountains. They're just dug into the ground by erosion. But, yeah. Well, found me a really nice butt. Real tall, beautiful looking creature. I was assembling my uh, gear to go put a sock on them. And realized uh, my pack was a bit light. Yeah, my, uh, my knives aren't in my truck or the pack. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to go and put a uh, hunt on him. So, just out of uh, convenience to these people, I'm sure, uh, some uh, hunters were coming down the road, uh, father, son, and grandsons, all loaded up in a pick -em up truck. I pointed a deer out to them. Explained my situation, told him, like, you know, I messed up. I came out here unprepared. They offered to uh, loan me some of their gear, and I told them, no, this is my punishment for not checking my shit, making sure that I have everything I need before I go into the field. So now, I had the long drive all the way back home to get more hunting gear, or, well, to get my stuff, because, uh, yeah, I'm not real happy about this. Granted, you know, he was in a really, really, really shitty spot. It would have taken me pretty much the entire day to get him out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so $85, and, you know, for the motel room. You know, the half a tank of fuel to get up here. And all time wasted. All time wasted. So, hopefully I can find some place that sells hunting gear and I'll just buy another set so I don't have to drive all the way back to fucking town. Well, driving to Glasgow, closest place that has a sporting goods store. So, that well, trip isn't total loss, I mean... double back on some of the stuff that I've driven, driven by. Uh, access is into the uh, brakes here that does not look like many people have gone in. So This road is absolute fucking horse shit, I will say that. Um, if, yeah, I mean, this highway is too, it's too tracked. Well, Uh, yeah, 
So that's the uh, status update on my uh, predicament here. It's 13 degrees above zero. I was down to a low of 16. I assume uh, once I get back into the hills and drop back down, it's going to get colder again because that lake is not frozen yet. It was a let off a lot of fog early this morning. I'll uh, put that into the photos right here. But, yeah, I'm gonna try and recover this trip. I just first time I've ever forgotten hunting knives. And I know why I did it too. It, like. We got my poised deer on you, know, which is a video that is probably not going to get posted until after this one. Uh, we got his deer, we used the knives, and they're, you know, we got them all dirty and whatnot, and well, we cleaned them, and they were dull as shit. So I was shy and resharpened them. That's where the breakdown happened. They didn't end up back in my pack, which ended up back in my truck. It just a systematic breakdown of procedures. And for fast forward a week, here I am driving way out of the way to go get hunting knives because it's easier to go to Glasgow than it is all the way back home. This is the closest place I can go to get, you know, stuff, so that's what's going to happen. I will see if I can't find anything around the Glasgow Fort Beck area that's worth a shed. Pretty upset. Pretty upset. I just hope that family from Washington uh, was able to put a, put a, a hit on that. Fuck, he's a damn good looking deer. But I just gotta go out and find me another one with the proper equipment now. All the fog coming off of the, the reservoir here. There's the power plant for Fort Peck. Water ain't quite ready to freeze yet. Can't, yeah, that's sick. I mean, it looks like a damn rainstorm from the distance. Into the fog. Bum, bum, bum. Heading back to Jordan. Got my stuff. Got some food. Gassed up the truck because they rolled in almost on empty. Don't do that. Well, the wind's really changed. This was all going the other direction. <gasps> oh, Jeebus. So, it's going to snow over here because of the lake. Just like it does in the Great Lakes. I couldn't remember what the hell it was called, uh, but then uh, tech support told me it's called the lake effect, which sounds right. So we're gonna go with it. Well, too windy over in Jordan today. As soon as I got up out of town, the wind was just going and not feeling well. Now you really didn't feel like uh, tromping around out there and in the wind. So now I'm over, I'm almost the grass range, going through some BLM and I'm actually finding some pretty cool stuff out here. Looks like there used to be a Milwaukee stop right off the side of the road here and
so far it's kind of cool I don't know I'm just cruising at this point my right knee is killing me still don't know what the fuck I did to it but I'll bring you guys back if I uh, find anything more interesting so that's supposed to be Wild Horse Lake field. May have to come back up here during the summertime. That would be a fun time. Well, thinking about calling the trip. Like out here in the uh, flatlands, or there are no secrets to that. Uh, so I think I'm gonna snap this one and try again next weekend. Yeah, uh, with this man, not feeling it this week. Seen some cool stuff, but you know, just this weekend just kind of went sideways from the start. So, thanks for watching. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Let's me and the YouTube know that I'm doing my job right. Uh, please leave comments down below. This one's probably not going to be one of my best ones, uh, but you know, there's always going to be next weekend. So, let me know. Yeah, if, you, if you like what I do, do the like and subscribe. Oh, Jeebus. And uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I'd like to add into my video here a big thank you to the owners of the Summit Corral Cafe. Um, I kind of fucked this whole weekend up. Uh, just a few bad decisions. Not fully prepared. Uh, the whole knife situation kind of threw the whole trip off. I was not planning on staying two nights in Jordan. Uh, by the time I had gotten back to Jordan from Glasgow, it was dark. 200 is not a road you really want to be driving on in the dark anyways. However, you know, by that time, I was way tired. I didn't want to drive down that highway in the dark um i just wasn't feeling up to it i was uh preparing to crash out in the in the truck that night um you know idle the motor run heat just sleep in the front seat uh, nothing i've not done before and uh the gal that works the motel which is also owned by the same family uh, asked me if I had found a place for the night and I mentioned yeah I'm the front seat of my truck well the owners of the uh, cafe were kind enough to offer me uh, a spare room they didn't have to do this uh, felt kind of bad for things leading up to that um, they were more than kind to do that um, You just not, things like that don't normally happen to me. Um, I cannot thank them enough. They very kind people. Uh, that's those are the type of people you typically find in these small little rural towns. Um, great. Again, a big thank you. Just have want to add that in. So if you're ever in the Jordan area, please stop by. You know grab a bite at the Hilltop Corral Cafe in Jordan. 